Alright. So if everything goes as planned tonight, this is it. We're finally wrapping up the game. And, uh, what a... What a place to start the stream on. I already mentioned it before, but I remember this being, like, one of the more... <clears throat> excuse me. Out there locations in the game, because... I mean, you go to the Twilight, uh... Areas... Well... It's areas in Hyrule that are affected by Twilight. But, like, this is the home of the Twilight now. So I don't exactly remember too much about this place. I remember a power-up that you can get here. Aha. Uh -huh. It's about the same strength as a red Deku Baba. Okay. Um... The two heart pieces I need are in this dungeon. And then after that- oh! God damn it, Zant head. Didn't even see him there. Uh-huh, you think you're gonna get me again? I dare you. I double dare you, motherfucker. There you are. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> Man, what's going on with my throat? So the two heart pieces I need are in this dungeon, and then after that, uh, the boss should drop a heart container, so... We should be on track for getting all hearts. I know I haven't gotten all upgrades this playthrough, but that's that's fine. I think I'm just missing out on a bigger bomb bag and a bigger wallet, and that's about it, which by this point I don't really care for. Bombs are not going to be excessively used, and rupees mean almost nothing to me by this point. Another oh, Saint head. Um, I think I want to go into that black fog. Yeah, go into the hazardous fog that you don't know what it does. Yeah, okay. Link, be careful. This black fog... <coughs> fog, wow. This black fog is made up of shadow crystals created by Xan. They blot out light. He's responsible for stealing the light from the spirits and turning your world into twilight. He's not all-powerful. We're prepared, too. I can return you to your normal state whenever you need me, so don't worry, okay? Thanks, Midna. Easy. <coughs> Drink water. That is what you were born to do on this planet. Oh, two chests, okay. <clears throat> Ugh. Oh. Uh, this is awkward. Thanks for the compass. Uh, this isn't gonna be good. Okay. Um, and there was another chest that spawned... Where am I? Okay, and there's just a chest right here. Does this straight up have the map? Another small key? Okay. <clears throat> I don't remember the Palace of Twilight being all that complex. I think it's just primarily linear. Like, it it's not... It's not going to be anywhere near as complex as a uh, city in the sky. More so, you're just going to be facing a bunch of uh, other challenges in a hallway. Or at least that's what I remember. Sort of like an extension of the moon in Majora's Mask, if you do the trials there. 
was the king, but a miserable pile of dinner. But enough scrubbing. Send Link. I love that so much. How's it going, Baron? What's up? How was Fatal Frame 2 last night? You know what? More money for the magic armor, I guess. I don't want... I don't really care about money, though. I mean, I already have all the hearts I could possibly have by this point. And magic armor... I, I don't even use it as a safety net. I use it because I think it looks cool, but it's... It's so limited. I wish it worked more like Wind Waker, but unfortunately, that's not the case. Okay. So were you wasting that ammo? Or was it quote unquote strategic? Because I know you. Why the hell would you do that? Alright. I wonder. <clears throat> Eventually ran out of the basic stuff and the final boss had rapid health to- Oh, okay. I guess I'm just supposed to fight these enemy waves? Alright, I see how this goes, alright. Bruh. Okay, so I'm supposed to run up to him and not shoot him. Interesting. That wasn't very nice. And there's still a Deku Baba there. That shining sphere illuminates this world. It's called a soul. It's like the sun of your world, Link. I shouldn't be anywhere near it then if it's like the sun. The power of the soul is the source of life in this world. It is a pure power. Ah, as long as you have this. Would you take this soul to the Twily at the entrance to this world? Please, Link. How could teleporting right besides a swordman go possibly wrong? Hey, it's, it's just a hologram. It's not like he's physically there, but still, if you want to kill the guy... You should probably just fire projectiles from far away, be a camper. 
Do I... Okay. Oh, right. I forgot. The Floor Master. My favorite Zelda enemy, not really. And it even plays scary music when it's uh, coming for the ball. Fucking hell. Fine, you want it? You're gonna have to take it from my cold, dead hands, buddy. Mine. See ya, sucker. Yo, what's up, Yuki? How you doing? Oh. Oh, he doesn't give up. I'm doing all right. How about you? I'm doing dandy. Where in the world is Carmen San Diego? Okay. <clears throat> yeah, I see the problem. Okay. Mine. Don't you dare take it. Bitch. Nope, nope. Let me, let me have it. Is he coming for me? Oh yeah, he's right above me. Oh, absolutely. Well, they don't spam this guy. He's only in this dungeon. Imagine having a nightmare that you're a pot and Link walks into your room. It's over by that point. What if Link is your sleep paralysis demon? Son of a bitch. figure out what exactly I'm doing with this. Okay, there's a chest there. Alright, I got a plan. We're gonna wait for this guy to come over here. up there. Alright, one more. Not bad. Now let's get out of here. No. My ball. Not yours. I think the other side has the piece of heart, so that that's the last one in the game. Oh. Hi. You're welcome. Do I put it here? 
no. I feel like the next piece of heart is gonna be a little more tricky, but we'll see. Link, there should be one more soul. If we can find that, it should lead us to Xan. Alright. Let's keep going. Oh yeah, they force you to go to the left path first. Let's see if we can keep the momentum going. gonna fight me? Yes, you are. What am I doing here? There's a chest over there. Heart pieces are from actual people's hearts that they sacrifice themselves to help save Hyrule. Well, how do you explain the uh, the one of the Snow Peak ruins where uh, the Yetis, if you remember them, uh, they had a nice hugging session and they formed a heart container. I can't get that chest until- Oh, hi! They were hiding a heart without the- Okay. No, I need a key. What the- Okay. This is awkward. How the fuck do I fight you? Yeah, okay, this this doesn't seem like it's gonna be very fun. Does Ganondorf has a, have a space station in this? Um Not really. And the one who did technically have a space station was the moon in Majora's mask, if that even counts. What exactly am I doing here? Because these won't activate. Can I hit that back at him? Is that even possible? I'm... I'm gonna assume no. walls look like metal? They kind of do. Well, they look more like carved stone, at least to me. Oh 
Oh my god. I think I have to kill him. Okay. No. There we go. Of course they would be stuck here. What's the... Actually, here's a good question. What's the... One Zelda game with the most relentless uh, wall masters or floor masters? see how this is going to go. What game is next? What do you mean? Next in the Zelda timeline? Or what came after this game? For you? That is a very good question. Because um, there's a couple things that I do want to play. I think what I might do is the, uh, the DLT for Sonic Frontiers. Because I've been practicing the Master King Coco trial a lot. And I think if I don't do too much of the side content, I could probably knock that out in about three to four hours. So that's what I'm thinking. But it could probably be something else entirely. does make great use out of the double claw shot, though. Who doesn't want to be Spider-Man, really? Okay, but I saw a chest on the other side. Sam is smirking right now. I mean, to be fair, the double claw shot is nowhere near as effective as the spider ball, but it's still damn good. really wanted to show me this red rupee up close. Alright. Thanks, guys. Um... Here's two more chests here. Can I even get them right now, or do I need to wait until I get the soul? I think I can get that one. Fill up my wallet, why don't you? Alright, and yet another brown chest so we can clear this room out. Man, this place looks like shit, but the people here are fucking rich. Is 
do I have to fight hologram Zant again? Looks like it. Alright, buddy, what are you gonna throw at me this time? What would you do if you could curl up into a ball and traverse all sorts of terrain? I'd do just that, traverse through all sorts of terrain. Cause that sounds fucking badass. Get your ass over here. just likes teleporting all over the place. Yeah, okay, when are you gonna stop so I can actually hurt you? Damn it. That's my chance. I don't know how Samus doesn't choke through doing that. She's a brilliant contortionist. some parts before a way out. I don't think they ever actually explain like what the morph ball is. Because in Metroid Prime, like what happens when you get the morph ball power is that Samus will like do a bunch of somersaults and then become energy inside of the ball. It's weird. Oh. Okay. This is the game we're playing. I got it. No thank you. Just that type of guy, huh? Master hand, you ain't. Oh, what the fuck? No, that's my ball. He can't get- You poor so oh no. Wait, he's pathfinding. That's not good. I thought he was stuck. Or is he stuck? He might still be stuck. No, no, he's pathfinding. Okay. I need to find my way over Bronto. What in the goddamn world are you doing? Did you like Sexy Ganondorf in Tears of the Kingdom? I did. They did such a good job with him in that game, for both his design and gameplay. Like, Wind Waker Ganondorf, from a story perspective, is still probably top tier, but that Ganondorf comes close. He's so good in that game. It hands down, like, my favorite part of Tears of the Kingdom.
Alright, what exactly am I doing here? Actually, I think I could come back for this and just ignore every other gameplay mechanic. I have a brilliant idea. I say as I get bombarded with bats. Or... No. Don't. No. Don't do that. Mine. Motherfucker. Can I immobilize him? I can. I mean, I guess I could just do that. Of course you would. There, there are no redeeming qualities to Yuki Dorf, though. sure I can just come back for a, that art piece, like, after I do this part. Lies, if you say so. Light filled the Master Sword. Its blade glows with a golden light in the Twilight Realm. With it, you can cut through dark fog. Amazing. The power of the souls has been transferred to your sword. The guardian deities of my world are on our side too. You really are the Chosen One, Link. A true hero. As long as you have that sword, you should be able to repel the shadows Xant has spread. Alright, but I want to go back real quick. So yeah, now we have a butter sword. Fuck yeah. Although it's only for the Twilight Realm. It, it won't appear in the uh, the regular overworld. Which is kind of a shame, but for gameplay purposes, it's fine. You want evidence? Because it is. Because I said so. You can't dispute that. Okay, now, as for getting these chests, is this is it even possible? Should be. Unless I have to go get the soul again, unless No, they they wouldn't make it like missable. Okay. Alright, fine. Sue me. I'll prove you wrong. There it is. All the heart pieces in the entire game. Now we just need a heart container and then we're golden. <laughs> Oh, okay. Whoa, 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 whoa. No, no, no. No, put me back. Is this just rupees? Might, it might be like 100 rupees or something like that. That more... You know what, 50 is still a lot. All right. Let's go. Wait, no, no, I can reach that. Damn it. I thought I was going to be clever there. Oh yeah, Yuki. Now that you finished Xenoblade Chronicles, what did you think? Stop running into corners. I can't help it. Wait, can I not get back up here? Oh, wait, I see. Okay, I 
need to have the elevator spawn. And then that should take me... Oh, wait, no. What? I'm very confused. Okay, okay, no, 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 we're fine. This just takes me to the end like I wanted. Okay. Now we can progress with the game. At the ending, the whole thing too, but like also the ending. That's just a waterfall of darkness. Good lord. <laughs> Yeah, same. I hope they don't mind if I break their pottery. Okay, there's nothing in there. Oh, fuck. They die in one hit anyway. Oh! Nah, you're back to seconds. It's just, it's so funny. Bye. Alright. Oh, knock, knock, knocking on Zan's door. go into spoilers but I just want you to know that Xenoblade 2 and 3 have completely different protagonists and completely different casts but they are still connected in some way I will not I will not explain how that is for you to find out Back up to 300. Wow. That's... You have all these points and you never use them. What are you... Why? What are you saving up for? God damn it. Spin actually reach from here. All right, if if you say so, Baron. Oh, they just die in one hit now because of my light sword. Nice. Um, 
Um. The Xenoblade 2's world is not what you think it would be. And the reason why that is does get explained in a later game. Uh, I will say, go into Xenoblade 2 with a fresh coat of expectations. Don't think it's going to be a continuation. Um, y yes and no. It's not that it's, like, explained in the third game. It's more so that the reason why it is the way it is is explained in the third game. Well, yeah, yeah, the third game. But two-story as is is still really good. Just don't think it's like, oh man, like I can't wait to see my my boy Shulk again. That's that's what Future Connected is for. And no, you know, I'll I'll stop talking. I feel like if I keep talking, I'm just gonna spoil stuff. Hi. trying so hard to swap these birds. <laughs> now don't worry, Shulk's fine, dude. Okay, even though you don't have Ryan in Xenoblade 2, you have Zeke Von Gembu, who may as well be Ryan, but also somehow cooler. Even though I like 3's cast more, like, it still surprises me how really good 2's cast is. I mean, I like 1, don't get me wrong, but like 2, Xenoblade 2 has a very strong cast. Like, almost everyone is really cool. Except Tora, I don't like Tora. Oh, hi. Some would even say Ryan is the best character in the game, uh, gameplay-wise. If you know what, uh, the Magnum Charge plus Sword Drive combo is, it's... It's ridiculous. It'll fuck shit up. Yeah, and I like the little arc that he has, too, where, like, he sees Shulk growing, and he's like, you know, growing up, I always had Shulk's back, and I was always a shoulder for him to lean on, but now that he's become strong with Monado, like, I don't know if he even needs me anymore. And then Charla says, nah, dude. Like, you look out for everybody. I like that little moment. Was there something else in here? Yeah, there was. Uh, who was your favorite character, Yuki? I 
I think it's implied that they do. Oh yeah, it's a good thing I didn't miss out on this. Uh, imagine if I forgot the boss key again. <laughs> Bad idea. Here upon Ricky? Ricky's the real one. If you hate Ricky, then you hate me. Because Ricky is secretly one of the coolest characters in the game. Exactly. Oh, hi. Thanks for the gate jump scare game. Ricky is just a really good party member to have, too. Especially because, well, for one, he has the best healing art in the game, so he's just better Sharla. Um, and some of his other skills are really cool, too. Like, he's he's a jack-of-all-trades, but you could make him a tank. He was supposed to have the lowest HP in the game, but um, the devs thought it would be funny if they gave him the highest uh, HP value. And you know what? It works really well. It makes Ricky a very valid party member. Yeah, there was that, but the conversation that really gets me is um, when he's on the fallen arm with Dunban and Melia. And, like, he has that heartfelt moment with Dunban. Like, that that's a really sweet moment for him. What exactly am I doing here? If I had to think of my favorite characters, I mean, Shulk is like my favorite protagonist in like any video game ever. So I think he would like make the top spot. I also really like Melia. And I just want to hug her because of all the shit she goes through. Um, Dumban is really cool, although his story kind of drops off, like, after Metal Face. Yeah, I guess for the most part, it is just Shulk and Melia. Those are, like, the two, like, highlights for me when it comes to Xenoblade 1's overall cast. Being a dad upon a thing? Yeah, Ricky is a father of 14, I think. 14 Little Pawn. And he is 40 years old. What am I doing here? I need to go up there. Do I need to kill that Zant head? confused. Guess I'll, uh, die. Oh, never mind. We're good. That's why Ricky slammed Dicky in car door. Yeah. 
I'm going to assume that's why he accumulated so much debt and became the hero pawn. Just because trying to support 14 children is a lot, and I don't think his wife does anything. Ah! Uh, What a fucking asshole. I cleared the fog, though. Fine, feed me now. I, I can't do a Ricky voice, unfortunately. I know Small really likes Ricky. But I can't I can't do his voice. Myth, asshole. Now, as for where to go from here, that is a brilliant question. Never mind, there's a platform that just spawns. That's handy. What did you think of the villains, uh, Yuki? Uh, spoilers for the first game. Dixon, Zanza... Not Alvis. He's not a villain. I, I swear, I'm not. Die. I, as soon as I blow this fog away, this turns me into a wolf anyway. All right. The game will make you remember her name just because of how bad that boss fight is. Yeah. You will pay for your insolence. You will pay for your insolence. You will pay for your insol- Yeah, that, that shit just gets grating. If you have Ricky and Fiora in your party, Fiora's like, Oh, mighty hero pawn. Yeah. Although my favorite battle party quote is, uh... Melia, Fiora, and Shulk. I forget, like, what the context is, but, like, after, like, Melia and Fiora giggle, Shulk's like, why do I get the feeling that mastering the Monado might be easier than this? And I think it was supposed to be, like, some sort of sexual joke. I don't remember too much because I never have Shulk and Melia in the same party. But it was really funny. Sant. Isn't this ironic? Here we are, all thanks to the dark magic curse you placed on Link. You speak of magic. Still your tongue for a moment, whelp. And I will tell you of both magic and the oppression of ages. 
The people of our tribe. A tribe that mastered the arts of magic. We're locked away in this world like insects in a cage. In the shadows we regressed. So much that we soon knew neither anger nor hatred. Or even the faintest bloom of desire. And all of it was the fault of a useless, do-nothing, royal family that had resigned itself to this miserable half-existence! I had served and endured in that depraved household for far too long, my impudent princess! And why, you ask? Because I believe that I would be the next to rule our people! That is why! But would they acknowledge me as their king? No! And as such, I was denied the magic powers of befitting our ruler. It was then, in the thrall of hatred and despair, that I turned my eyes to the heavens and found a god. Like, very early on in Satoral Marsh, like, he straight up says, Can't say I feel so good about deceiving these kids. And that's your cue to let you know, oh, he's gonna turn on you. But I don't like how they do it so early in the game. Never before was Zant this crazy, but here we are now, and it's so funny. This is what makes Zant memorable to me. Just the fact that he can go cuckoo nuts. I'm interested in this. Oh shit. Thank you for the follow. I cannot read that. That is so small. I shall house my power in you. If there is anything you desire, then I shall desire it too. <laughs> it's two settings, zero and 100 ta- yep, exactly. Cause like, he's kind of generic when you meet him, but like, at this moment, this is what makes him memorable. I thought he was just not telling us stuff like you did. He knew more than he was letting on. To merge the shadow and light and make darkness. I didn't even read the other line that he had. All right, here we go. Finally get to 1v1 this bastard. Do you remember how Wind Waker had a boss rush? That's kind of the same case here, but it's the entire fight. So if you remember this place, this was uh, Diab Diababa's Arena, I think that's its name. So what if I use the item that I had to use to defeat him? Got oh, this okay. Now, this is from a mini boss and not an actual boss. That's crazy. What do we got next? Oh. Yeah, uh, we don't want to be wearing our hero's tunic. <laughs> Not for this one. What the fuck? Huh. 
Mega Man is a hit in the Twilight Realm. They do it in a very creative way, though. That's what I like about this fight. Like, it's kind of a boss rush, but not really. Jesus. If Morpheal wasn't terrifying before, now you just have Xant. Nope. Me, get him. You try to swim away. Were they sent there in the 90s? Probably if they had a Super Nintendo. Uh huh. But we're not doing Arbiter's Grounds. Gotcha. I wonder. Aha! Because if you remember in that mini-boss fight, um, you'd have to hit the pillar, and then the monkey would get hit by his boomerang, but now you have to do that yourself. That's genius. No, I saw what you said. I didn't have time to acknowledge it. Now, he was still faithful to... Well, no, he just wanted power. Dixon didn't really do anything for anyone but himself. He just wanted to work with Xan because it made him stronger. Uh-oh. Oh, fuck. Why are you shrinking? Okay. Well, I mean, by, by the time he makes that speech, like, he's dying, so of course he's not in it to win it anymore. A kid can do that to a man. <laughs> Alright, what do we got next? Oh, we're doing it for real this time. I gotcha. Well, you know what? Maybe it's about time I use that magic armor, huh? Let's go, Xan. Okay, that's not a smart idea. I'm just tanking through his hits because of magic armor. Okay. Ah. Not the smartest option. Fuck! I thought I could be cool. I wanted to do a helm splitter. Ah, 
Yeah, we need to take magic armor off now. I took too many hits. When he says he just wanted friends, what he really wanted was disciples. Traitors? Ha. You want to know why none would call you king? It was your eyes, Zant. All it saw, a lust for power burning in your pupils. Did you think we'd forget our ancestors lost their king to such greed? Bidna, foolish Twilight Princess. The curse on you cannot be broken. It was placed on you by the magic of my god. The power you held as leader of the Twilight will never return. Already, he has descended and been reborn into this world. As long as my master, Ganon, survives, he will resurrect me without cease. God. Even Link's surprised. I... I just used a fraction of the power that's in me now. I did that? Using only a fraction of my ancestor's magic? Link, now is the time. We must save Zelda. The evil power Zant was wielding. I couldn't take it from him. But at least I still have the magic of my ancestors. With it, I can return the cherished power Zelda bestowed upon me. He was- he got popped like a balloon. Now, let's go. Princess Zelda is waiting. You bet, but before that... You love to see it. I'll get you out of here. You sure there's nothing else you need to do, right? Yeah, we've cleared out everything here. Probably shouldn't have done this save slot, but whatever. So Ganondorf was just using Zant to help him return to the World of Light. I guess now we know the true nature of that barrier over Hyrule Castle. He's at Hyrule Castle, I'm sure of it. Princess Zelda is in grave danger. We must return to the World of Light and hurry to the castle. Alright, let's waste no time. 
It's unsetting when a Zelda game gives you a save prompt. You say that, and then there's Xenoblade 3, which is the biggest mood swing. Because, like, in that game, there's, like, a very infamous moment that made me cry personally. And then after that, you just get to the the save select screen because the chapter ends, and then Noah's like, It's good to keep a record! I'm like, fuck you, Noah. Alright. Nothing else to do. No more side content that I want to take care of. No nothing. Let's just do it to it. Let me get- do I have any mail? I wonder. I guess not. How are you holding up, actually? Your prayer has reached the skies above. Take good care of your body, for it was provided to you by forces you cannot comprehend. I, literally, kind of. I don't know about you, but I'm getting really irritated at that giant rhombus over Hyrule Castle. Maybe we should do something about that. different. So, the thing about Lorathea is that she was also a disciple of Xanza, so she had ulterior motives. So the reason why she, she suggested the Trial of the Tomb was because it was the only way for Melia to join the group and to get them to where they were for the revival of Xanza. So yeah, that's kind of how that works. Also, I hope that jingle sounded familiar to you. Alright, this is it, the final dungeon, and it's a pretty big one. This is probably the biggest final dungeon in the entire Zelda series. I've only played through the game once, and it was seven years ago, so I don't remember too much. But I remember this place was big.
I don't know if I'll explore all of it, but I'll see what I can do. Come on, who wants some? I'm ready for you. is coated in monster blood today. And it's only gonna get worse. So many things are going to die. Oh my god. I just realized this is a hallway from Ocarina of Time. I just realized that. Not everything's going to be a carryover, but I, I remember this. Because Alvis is the Monado. And if you have any questions on Alvis, play the other games. Because it'll make more sense when you play them. It's supposed to be a mystery in uh, the first game. Or as to why Alvis is the way he is. I have come to play. All right. I guess we're not done with this little squabble, buddy. Text, play the other games. I'm not gonna spoil it for you. Oh shit. Maneth was a god that had a Monado. That didn't mean that she was the Monado. Same with Sansa. Enough. Thanks? I follow the strongest side. That is all I have ever known. Link. He... He spoke. When did they say he was a Monado? Because I could tell you that he's not. If that's what Zanza said, I think you're taking his lies too literally. Hey. 
need more hearts and love. And yeah, because his power was trapped in the Monado. That didn't mean he was the Monado. Okay, um, I guess I'm done with this side. Can I go through here? Okay, that's locked by a small key door. Um, let's go this way first and see what's over here. The Luginato. I don't understand. If someone were to wield the Bonato, does that mean they'd eventually become Bonanza? There's some bad pop in there. Good lord. I know this area is big, but is it too much for the GameCube? Nice aim, dumbass. The barrel just did the job for me there. to do something cool, man. I mean, the Switch in its early years had games that ran just fine. And now it's like seven years old, almost seven years old, and it just can't do it anymore. It just sucks that they keep trying to push outdated hardware. Aha, I see. Whoa, 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 whoa. Where are we going? Let me get up. Thank you. No. I want you to charge head first into that plank of wood. Oh. Uh, damn it. So bad at this. We'll have to see. Remember when people thought the OLED model was gonna be like the Switch Pro or something like that? And it just turned out to be like a almost the same thing. Uh Yeah, you gotta hit him. What the fucking do for you, buddy?
Ah. I see. Okay. What pattern do I need to do here? Unless this will just tell me. Like a lightning bolt, okay. Aren't you curious on what's on the other side of this wall, Link? There might be a way in. Wanna check it out? Yeah, I, I think I know what to do, Vidna, but thank you. So if I do... That, 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 and that. Yeah, there we go. Boogie bolt more like arrow blast. The map? I mean, I guess that could help. It is a pretty big place, after all. I shouldn't even be grabbing rupees. It's raining. The weather's just getting shittier and shittier. You know, I don't need to go back down there. Okay. Is this just funny to you now? Oh no, this was just for the map. Okay. So I have to go back. I have a key for a reason. All that work for a map. They, they really make you work for just essential items. Well, I mean, the map probably isn't essential if you know what you're doing, but I don't. Great spin attack to actually kill them. Bruh. How much health do you guys have? Oh my god. Nope. Can't relax yet. going on here oh I see this is gonna be very awkward isn't it if this is even how I'm supposed to get there shot onto them? Okay. 
Okay. So what's the staircase here for, though? If I can get over there? Yeah, okay, there we go. Compass? Yep. There shouldn't really be a dungeon item here, at least. They, they wouldn't do that for, like, the final dungeon or anything like that. Palace of Twilight didn't really have anything aside from just a souped-up Master Sword. I could go down there, or... Yeah, I think I can only just go down here. I can't reach that chandelier. Okay. Oh! Another one of you. Your move, buddy. Okay. There we go. What would you do when you combine a Lugia and a Gyarados? There's a site called Poke Fusions to answer that exact question. Is Ganondorf just a king? He is a demon king. So he's special. Oh fuck, I don't even need lantern oil by this point. They just give you a refill right here. Huh. Okay. Do I need to blow that out? Oh yeah, there we go, I guess. Well, no, I still need to get that, so what exactly am I missing? I don't know, man. Put it, put it in the site, see what you get. What does it look like? Fusion. Maybe if I get rid of this one? Or... Well, no, that causes that to go down. Okay, um... So do I... What the fuck? Oh, wait a minute, I think I get it. Wait, no. I don't get it. Because I thought... Okay, so... 
No, I do get it. That causes it to go down. And now I need to use my boomerang. If I could just, like, aim it. I don't know if I need to do, like, some sort of elaborate puzzle for this, but that works, too. Yeah, sure. There's two ways to go. I should be very concerned. Bless. <laughs> Light them all up! No. Okay, the light dies out. Do these statues have anything to do with it? Not statues, just armor. Unless I need to blow these all out. How the hell do you spell Gyarados? Uh... I mean, if you put it through, like, a Google search engine, it'll do it for you, but it should be, like, G-Y-A-R-D-O-S, I think. Um, wait a minute. No, I remember there was something that you could do with sense. Was it here? I do not remember this room at all. If not, I could probably just go the other way. It seems to be leading to a similar place. Okay, yeah, I can't do anything about that fire. Maybe if I just do this really fast? That one was burning so long. You know, I'll just go the other way. You get Ludos out of it. Yeah, Lugido does, does sound better. But to each their own. Fuck it, I'll fight. You think you're scary just because you have skulls on your head? Buddy, I break skulls. <laughs> I see the problem. I I think they they figured it out. The hero can't proceed if the doors are locked. Do I have to do anything with the pictures? Oh yeah, no, there we go. That could probably be the key to the other room, too. Oh. We're up in the ante. 
All right, bet. Let's go. See if I can get rid of you first. Okay, that was just a dumb idea. Thanks for breaking that jar for me. That hit him. just in the way. They can be mountains of muscle carrying an arsenal that shames the entire military. For weird phenomenal cosmic powers, but every hero is thwarted by mere locked doors. Exactly. Should have just kept them locked. Link can't go anywhere. That's it. That's the game. Forgetting if the claw shots are like the first thing. Whoa. I don't know if this is safe. Oh wait, well first off. Figured. Can I even make that? All right, let's, let's do it like she, uh, not she, uh, see ya. Nope. Oh wait, no, never mind. I could just do that. A silver rupee, is this the first one I've seen? Mag Maybe I'll use magic armor. Alright. I, I feel like this is a sign that I should just keep using magic armor. I want to run out of rupees, for the record. But if you're giving me all this money, may as well use it. Okay, um, I might have to go back the way I came in initially. Boss, I got an idea that might finally stop those punks from ruining our plans. How about we lock the doors from the inside? Not just one or two, but 
All of them? What if you have to use the bathroom? Shit! I guess I could always refill on lantern oil. It's right here for the taking anyway, so I may as well. Although I probably don't need it anymore. I, if I come across a chew, I'll do it, but I, I don't really need So now that I know what to do in that room, let's try the same thing again over here and see if that'll get me any different results. This is just a pattern in uh, Dawn of Sorrow. I have to draw a fucking magic seal in this game. I did it right. What the fuck? Is that supposed to be the last one? Okay, what if I try it in reverse? There we go. Okay, the flame had to be the end part of it. That's odd, but you know what? Figured it out. Think you can take me? This move is overpowered. <laughs> Some of the sh the hero shades moves are not created equal, but whatever. Oh. Is that a shortcut? I mean, I guess that helps. Wait, was there another exit that I could have taken? And I just didn't take it? Story of my life. Uh-oh. I already know this song and dance. Anytime now. Yeah, 
Come on. So what's in this chest? A small key. I should probably check the other one, though. Oh, wait, no. It's over here. What? Or is this another floor? I'm so confused. It's another floor. Okay. But at least I can go this way. Yeah, I don't have to bother with that one. Good thing I checked! Yo, it's the boys! Awesome, good to see them helping out too. Alright, and this is mine for the taking. Can't go without that. Uh, I don't know if I skipped it already, but I think there was also a graveyard portion of the castle. Like, on ground level. I don't know if I just completely missed out on that. Yeah, it's, it's about the friends we made along the way, Baron. This doesn't look good. Oh! I see. Thanks for the help, buddy. So you had a little parasite problem. It's more so rats, not parasites. myself to the fire? Ah, I can because there's like a grate behind it. That makes sense. It'll still probably hurt though. Finally, it gets its time of the sun again. You'll love to see it. Are you the only thing standing in my way right now? Hi, 
had to fight two darkness before getting here, buddy. You're not gonna be a problem. a key and I think that's what that graveyard portion was for uh that was just a treasure room I think I don't really need it I think all there is is just like more rupees and supplies I'm good the way I am right now I should have plenty to go around so let's do it or the master sword just might be too powerful cut through steel like no problem can't even look below You know what, while I'm at it, let's drain our money dry. Yeah, we're gonna fight Ganon Florf. Welcome to my castle. <laughs> so you're Ganondorf. I've been dying to meet you. Your people have long amused me, Midna. To defy the gods with such petty magic, only to be cast aside. How very pathetic. <laughs> pathetic as they were, though, they served me well. Their anguish was my nourishment. Their hatred bled across the void and awakened me. I drew deep of it and grew strong again. Your people had some skill, to be sure, but they lacked true power. The kind of absolute power that chose that well, the kind of absolute power that those chosen by the gods wield. He who wields such power would make a suitable king for this world, don't you think? I... Ha! Such conceit! I... But if you are one of the chosen wielders of power as you claim, he... I will risk everything to deny you! Shadow has been moved by light, it seems. How amusing. Very well. Deny me then. Yes, try to deny me. You and your little friend.
<laughs> Both of you. Faithless fools who would dare take up arms against the King of Light and Shadow. <laughs> so you choose. And so you shall feel my wrath. Well, this ain't good. So you guys like energy tennis? Dwarf's favorite sport, yeah. Just can't get enough of it. <laughs> okay, that's fine. I want to waste my rupees. Is it too close for you? Why did he suddenly get skinny? That's Zelda. He's possessing Zelda. <laughs> okay, that's fine. <laughs> Alright, perfect. Thank you. Come on, let's play some tennis. No, Zelda, let's play some tennis, come on. There we go. Good thing he didn't crush Zelda herself. Jesus. So now you show your true colors. How about we settle this beast to beast? Supposed to come out of a hole. Yeah, one of these holes. Ah, oh, shit.
I tried timing the A button that time, but I think I should just hold it. Okay, well that was, uh, poorly judged on my part. I'm trying, wow, okay. Maybe I need more distance. coming out of. There you go. he came from. Yeah, you typically don't, like, do something like that in the game, aside from goat wrangling. Kind of like the only time you do that in the main story. Okay. Whoa, 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 whoa. I'm not ready. Try that same move again. No. Well, this isn't the final boss, surprisingly. This is a phase of the final boss. We're not done yet after this. Okay, I did not do a very good job on that fight, more than I'd like to admit. But this wasn't the hard part for me when I first played. I was the fun. Princess, I... I... Say nothing, Midna. 
your heart and mine were as one, however briefly. Such suffering you have endured. So she is the final bo- Eh! She's fighting the final boss currently. Proving that she is a boss. Well, everything should be okay now. spoke too soon. Spirits of the Light, wielders of great power that shines far and wide upon the lands of our world. In my hour of need, grant me the light to banish evil. Chosen hero, lend us the last of your power. The DLC features her fight with Ganondorf, they call it separate shades. God damn it, Baron. <laughs> Okay, I remember not having fun with this part. I'll try to slow Ganondorf with my light arrows. You target him and keep him within range of my arrows. This is kind of like the final boss of Wind Waker a little bit. Shit. Okay. Except I'm, I'm bad at it. like hurt him Really? That was it? 
I remember having a much harder time on that. It wouldn't be the first time I said that. In this playthrough, hell no. I could have sworn he also summoned, like, other phantoms. An impressive looking blade, but nothing more. Would you hear my desire to take this foul blade and use it to blot out the light forever? something dumb yeah you like that look at that oh never mind he is attacking me okay I'm not gonna cheese him with that but that is funny staggered there a little bit. Alright, come on, king of evil. He got staggered now. Let's see if the third time's the charm. Seem like I can helm splitter him. Leaving much of an opening, are you? Damn. 
if I keep more distance? No. Things are not looking good. There we go. What's worse than getting stabbed with the Master Sword? Getting stabbed with the Master Sword while a thousand pounds of pure metal are pressured onto you. Do not think this sense here. History of light and shadow will be written in blood. Yeah, I love that he's using the sword the sages like stab them with. If only he used that sword in Smash Brothers. Aside from his up taunt. He just dies standing up. How the iron boots and the magic armor with zero rupees is supposed to weigh you down considerably? What if I told you the weight was all in Link's head? Shit, you're out of breath with all that stuff on you. What? Say something. Am I so beautiful that you've no words left? There we go. That was Twilight Princess, and you know what? Yeah, I I really enjoyed myself. I mean, I already liked the game before, but playing it a second time has like reaffirmed a lot of things for me. No, that that is her Twilight form because her form before was that imp. She was made that way because of Zant, but now we killed Ganondorf, and now everything's okay. Goth girlfriend for you, Link. You'd be surprised how many people are horny for Twily Mithra. Mithra. Midna. 
people are horny for Mithra, but that's for different reasons. <laughs> oh god. But, um... So far, I, I haven't played Skyward Sword, and I know this is a similar case with that game, but... Some of the best dungeons in the entire series, like probably the best dungeon lineup, if I'm being honest, because there are so many good ones. Like the Forest Temple is a good introduction. Boron Mines is really cool. Arbiter's Ground is one of my favorite dungeons in the whole series. Snow Peak Ruins is really interesting. Temple of Time has a cool gimmick too. Um, Lake Bed and City in the Sky are not exactly winners, but like not not every Zelda game has a good dungeon has a lineup of good dungeons, I say that, and yet Wind Waker does. So never mind. Oh, unless you count Forsaken Fortress, which I don't. I mean, even then I like Forsaken Fortress anyway. Um, the game is surprisingly linear. More linear than I thought. And it's kind of weird how how much, like, this game goes for, like, a grand sense of scope. I wouldn't say you're, like, being babied on your adventure. Like, far from it. Like, you still have to try every now and then, but for the most part, you're told where to go. Except for when you're not. And some of the set pieces, though, that you do, like, in between dungeons are really cool. Like, the jousting against King Boblin was, like, always a highlight. Of course you found level 34 of her. I... You didn't even need to tell me that, buddy. I could have gone this whole stream without knowing that you were looking up for him. But, um... Jousting was cool. The Wild West shootout... was another really iconic moment. The soundtrack is... probably one of the series' best. Even if it is, like... mostly... not synth... is it synthesized? I'm not a music person, but it's not, like, orchestral. Then again, this game is already pushing the GameCube uh, to its limits. I definitely won't replay this, like, immediately, but it's still a really good game. This Twilight Princess is, like, a 9 out of 10 game for me. Some of the things I don't like about it irk me a little bit, but all in all, it's, it's still phenomenal. It's long as hell. Like, it's one of the longest Zelda games out there, but, like, your time with it, though, it'll be pleasant. I think I like it more than- are they floating? I think I just saw those two characters floating. What? I was just curious- yeah, of course, sure you were. Actually, thinking about it now, the, this game was surprisingly easy. I think the only time where I really struggled was in Snow Peak Ruins, but that's by design anyway. Because it's meant to be hard, and they want you to use that suit. Other than that, that I probably didn't even need all those hearts. But I did anyway, because it made me feel accomplished. I don't know, like... In a top 10 Zelda tier list, where I'd put Twilight Princess. Because part of me likes it more than Ocarina of Time. But I've also played Ocarina of Time a lot more, so it's kind of hard to say. They're like neck and neck for me. Because, like... My Zelda tier list, so to say, is... Wind Waker, Majora's Mask... Um... I was gonna say Breath of the Wild, but probably not. That might be lower on the tier list, actually. Link Between Worlds. Link Between Worlds would absolutely be number three. And then it would be like Ocarina of Time and Twilight Princess. And then Breath of the Wild, Link's Awakening, and A Link to the Past. Yeah, I think that's fair. Like, Twilight, Twilight Princess is top five. Have you played Lugarina of Time? No. Give me the mod now. Um, I think that's all of, I have to say, really. It's just even though it was long, it was still nice to revisit this game that I haven't played in so long. I'm not going to do the Cave of Ordeals. It's a waste of time. 
I just realized I completely skipped out on that, but I'm like, what do I have in the game? Just fight more enemies and get great fairies tears whenever I want. I didn't even use the one I had. I only chugged one red potion, and the rest was lantern oil. Although I think there is a mod to make Twilight Princess harder. So, I mean, if I find the challenge to be, like, too easy, then I, I'll give that a shot, but... I, I think I'm fine with the game the way it is. I only modded Wind Waker just to make it closer to the HD version. Just because the quality of life improvements in that game were, like, really helpful. Like, the, the Swift Sail, like... That, that was the biggest one for me, the Swift Sail. That just makes sailing so much easier. Whereas this game, you could play it as is. Well, I guess this is farewell, huh? Light and shadow can't mix, as we all know. But... Never forget that there's another world bound to this one. Shadow and light are two sides of the same coin. One cannot exist without the other. I now know the reason the goddesses left the Mirror of Twilight in this world. They left it because it was their design that we should meet. Yes, that is what I believe. Zelda, words are kind, your heart is true. A fallen Hyrule are like you. And maybe you'll do all right. Thank you. Well, the princess spoke truly. As long as that mirror's around, we could meet again. Link. I... See you later. Not quite the same, but a very similar farewell back in Ocarina of Time. It's like it's gone full circle. Unless you count Hyrule Warriors, Yuki, because she's in that game. Both versions of her are in that game. God damn it, there's more credits, and I already said what I wanted to say. Um, think, think. I already mentioned the soundtrack. Uh, why, why did they make you get five pieces of heart? I mean, I got them all, but, like, why did they make you get five for a heart container? That's kind of dumb. I've been seeing... I haven't watched these videos for myself, but I've been seeing a lot of people say Twilight Princess is underrated. And I think about it, and now that I've played this game again all the way through, I'm like... What about it makes it underrated? Is it because it's trying to be Ocarina of Time, but more? Or is it because of the Zelda cycle? What if it had been six pieces of the heart? Then that's just going too far. You're crossing a lot of fucking lines there. But... I think back to that. And I'm like... 
they did what they wanted to accomplish with this game because as much as I adore Wind Waker and I will sing its praises till the end of my life, originally when that game came out, a lot of people saw it as a departure, mainly because of its graphics, but they, the reaction wasn't really favorable for that game. And then Twilight Princess came out and it's what people wanted. It's a brand new Zelda game akin to Ocarina of Time with realistic graphics for that generation. And people didn't like it, but they liked Wind Waker and realized, oh yeah, they actually had something going there. And then Skyward Sword came out and people liked Twilight Princess and hated Skyward Sword. You, you, this is the Zelda cycle. It sucks being a Zelda fan because people just think this way. Except Tears of the Kingdom, I guess, is the first to break the mold. I don't know. I remember people like Breath of the Wild anyway. So maybe it broke with that game, but like... <laughs> uh, it almost feels like it never ends, but... Yeah, um... I wouldn't say Twilight Princess is underrated at all. It's not overrated either. I think... I think it's just a solid game throughout. Like, the things that are just wrong with it are some quirks that have also been present in other Zelda games, and by that I mean just like some of the dungeons just suck. But most of them are fantastic! The cycle didn't start until the N64 with Majora's Mask, because people love the shit out of Ocarina of Time. But like, I'm, I'm very curious as to see why people think the game is underrated. Like, did people go back to this game and not like it? I don't know. Also, you're weighing down Epona so much with that magic armor there, like, good lord, you have no money, you're broke. And he just stopped at the wall. Oh. I thought there might have been like a fog effect to cover that up, but no, they, they didn't. Alright. Also, rest in PC Wada. Yeah, I... Okay, it's not my favorite Zelda game, far from it. Not even my favorite 3D Zelda game, but it's... It's still a quality game. Like, I've heard from a friend that Twilight Princess is a mid-Zelda game, but I disagree. I think this... When you think of The Legend of Zelda, I feel like Twilight Princess might be the first game to come to mind because of its strengths. Or maybe because you grew up with Super Smash Bros. Brawl and it just has Link and Zelda and Ganondorf from that game. That too, but... I don't know, because... It's... It takes... Again, it takes a lot from Ocarina of Time, and it makes it accessible to the next generation, and... I don't know what I'm trying to say. Okay. Is this, is this it? Does the game just end here? Can I not go to the main menu? The game freeze? What do you mean I can't skip? Is it supposed to stop here? Okay, thank god. I thought they were gonna do like a Super Nintendo thing where they just stay on one screen forever. Maybe it got a low rating? Well, maybe at the time? At least for fan reception? But, like, as time went on, people, like, liked this game again, and I guess they didn't? I don't know. Okay. Alright, final thing. Twilight Princess is a good game. Fuck you. Fair. Alright, now, now, now we don't need to argue. It's like a 9 out of 10 game. I probably won't replay this. I, like, I replay Wind Waker, like, every couple of years. It's, like, specifically during the summer, so, like, next year I'll play through that game again. Twilight Princess! Maybe every five years. Or maybe every seven years, because it was seven years since I last played it, but... Yeah! There we go. I don't know... It's gonna be a while before I do another Zelda game, but I don't know when... I'll do another one. 
if it was possible to do Skyward Sword, Wind Waker HD or OG HD, easily. Unless you emulate the original and install the better Wind Waker patch, then that, I think, is the best version because you get the quality of life improvements from HD, but you have the graphical style of the original, and I think the GameCube original looks better than HD. Um, but yeah... Let's... Oh, Death is doing Dark Souls again. We'll raid him. If I were to do another Zelda game... It... Might... I was thinking the Oracle games? I've never played them, though. So I don't know what to expect. If I get a Switch working, then I'd definitely like to do Breath of the Wild, but... That won't be... That won't be for a while. Because, like, the other Zelda games I've done were A Link to the Past, Ocarina of Time, which I did a lot of, Majora's Mask, uh, Wind Waker, which was last year, now this. And Link's Awakening. But... I guess, well, that's one Minish Cap is an option, but again, I never played that. In terms of other Zelda games that I did play, Link Between Worlds, Breath of the Wild, and um, Tears of the Kingdom, and I think that's it. At least for the ones that I didn't stream, but... Alright. So we'll go raid Death. And that'll... He's still on Anne Orlando, oh my god. Alright, well, I'll show him some support. But let's give him some positive encouragement, because Ornstein and Smaug are fucking brutal. <laughs> so, with that said, I'll end it like I always do. Thank you, everybody, for stopping by. It's been so much fun. Th thank you for voting on this game, too, because... I was... I wasn't, like, super into, like, oh, damn, I'm gonna, like, play Twilight Princess. Like, that's a long game, but, like, no, I thoroughly enjoyed myself so to all of you who voted for this game thank you so much and to everyone who stuck around for these streams yuki baron uh and a bunch of other people who weren't here <laughs> um thank you it it means a lot to me but we're gonna put zelda to rest for the time being because i think it's time for the blue blur to make his comeback so i th either on tuesday I don't know, actually. Maybe Tuesday? We'll see. When I have time, I'll do it, but I won't think about it now, so... Again, thank you all for watching. I hope you all have a great night. Stay safe, and take care. Ciao.